Hello there, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars set review. In this video, we'll be reviewing Luke the Other Scoundrels slightly upgraded Z95 Headhunter set, whose number is 75004. The Z95 Headhunter was first seen in the Expanded Universe, as it was used by the Rebel Alliance during the Galactic Civil War, although the amazing Star Wars The Clone Wars made its own clone variant in order to tie in the story better with the rest of the galaxy far, far away. Thanks to the clone headhunter in the Clone Wars, the transition from V-19 to Red Fighters is done in such a genius way as they become replaced by Z-19-5s as well as ARC-170s, eventually making a perfect bridge between Star Wars The Attack of the Clones all the way up to the Revenge of the Sith. The same can be said about all the clone pilot designs as well as clone Phase 1 Trooper armor, the ARC Troopers which were basically Phase 1.5 all the way up to the clone Phase 2 armor. Anyway, first we'll be going over the minifix, after which we'll review the set itself. So let's do it. Now the first minifigure up is a very unique looking clone pilot in his 501st Legion Phase 2 clone pilot armor. Now these guys were introduced into Star Wars along with the Z95 Headhunters and are considered as Phase 2 clone pilots as there are three phases in total unless we include the ones at the end of Revenge of the Sith that fly the V-Wing Starfighters. This 501st Phase 2 clone pilot has an awesome looking helmet design with a very specific mold and blue 501st prints on him. His torso and back have the Phase 2 Clone Wars Clone Trooper armor which slightly differs from the Clone Wars version Phase 1 pilots as you can see. Very small difference but very accurate if you pay close attention to the Clone Wars series. Next minifigure up is a 501st Phase 2 Clone Trooper which is probably one of our favorite Phase 2 clones that LEGO has ever made and we still don't understand why they simply don't make a battle pack of these guys. The helmet has a completely the same mold to the movie versions, and basically the only difference that signifies that it's made in the Clone Wars style is that it has a bit less details on him, as well as the Clone Wars version of the clone face. It also has the same differences compared to the Phase 1 Clone Wars version of clones on its torso and back prints just like the Headhunter pilot that we've mentioned earlier. All in all an awesome and very detailed minifigure. Last minifigure up is Jedi General Pong Krell, aka one of the most unique LEGO Star Wars minifigures that LEGO has ever made, and certainly the tallest. LEGO really put a lot of effort onto this guy, especially because of the special mold they made for the upper parts of Krell's body, and it's all non-rubbery plastic. Now his torso and legs look really good without the upper half of him, as you can see, and have a lot of details on them, which is nice on its own. When he's fully complete, you have a very tall minifigure, which is what he's meant to be compared to the rest, although he feels a bit too tall and thin, if you ask us. Maybe if he was just a bit less tall, and he would have looked even better. Anyway, gotta love that he has two double-bladed lightsabers, and nonetheless, he's a great minifigure for the collection. Now let's get into the set review. Now this Clone Wars variant of the Z95 Headhunter is specifically called the Clone Z95 Headhunter as the Rebel Alliance's versions are slightly different in a few ways. We would say that the size of the fighter is completely accurate to the real thing compared to the minifigure and that it looks absolutely great. Anyway, here at the front of the fighter, the dark red area has extra tiles and small slopes added to it in order to look more smooth. At the area around the cockpit, the design looks very nice and smooth, and has a great choice of colors to it. The same can be said about the inside of the cockpit with the beige, light gray, red, and white pieces. Anyway, this is what it looks like with the Phase 2 clone pilot inside, and just so you know, the control panel is a sticker. Now the back part behind the cockpit, there's an area that can open up where you can store a blaster pistol and some micro binoculars, although it wasn't really necessary. Now the interesting part here is that the main feature of the set is to shoot a cannon underneath the fighter which is slightly visible here. Now the way this works is that underneath the headhunter you can pull this cannon downwards and if you pull it enough it will shoot the cannon downwards. It's more of a feature that a bomber should have, although still great. Here at the back we have some more sloped up and tiled up pieces that make this whole thing very nice and smooth looking. The engines here are locked to the main part of the fighter and are the only pieces holding the wings together which is really surprising since it's a very sturdy build. At the front, the engines have some stickers for extra details, as you can see. Now regarding the wings, Luke has taken off some unnecessary white tile pieces and used them for something else, which is kind of a downgrade in a way, although he's added some black tiles onto it for better looks, as well as more dark red ones, specifically the slope pieces at the very end of the wings next to the blaster cannons. Anyway, it can easily look better just by adding more white tiles, as they originally used to be, or even going overboard and adding much more. It all depends on how many of them you have, because if Luke had more, it would all be tiled up. Now the last feature of the set are the landing legs, of which there are three. 
One of the great things about them is that they're all completely retractable and the fighter looks awesome in its flight mode as they're not very visible at all. Anyway, this is basically it on the Clone Z95 Headhunter review and we are very satisfied with it, especially since it looks awesome and it's basically unbreakable because of how sturdy it is. Anyway guys, this is it on the set review and we hope you all enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. The links to the playlist for our other set reviews will be down below, as well as the playlist to our mock reviews and custom minifigure builds. Before we end this, be sure to check out Luke's room tour video in which you can see his whole LEGO Star Wars collection and after you watch it, tell us in the comments down below what you want us to review next. The link for that is also down below and I hope you enjoy the slideshow now at the end. Anyway, remember guys, God is awesome, and may the force be with you always. You rebel scum.